I'm Dr. Sunita Rana Agarwal and I'm an eye surgeon. Along with that, I'm a genetic engineer. That means I do gene therapy. I'm located at 15 Eagle Street, Shantinagar, Bangalore 25. So the prevention of sty, we can understand if we first understand how did it come. The most important reason for sty is dryness of the eye. As these winter months are there, eye is getting more and more dry. The body itself is getting more and more dry. If we can tackle the dryness, we can tackle the sty, we can tackle the collision and we can tackle so many, so many other conditions as well. How do we tackle dryness? Today's world, we are all sitting in front of a computer or a television or a mobile phone. There's some video display terminal or the other. We're not blinking. I'm not asking you to start blinking. But however, one eye ointment should be kept near your place of work and or near the television. Before you want to start seeing more than one hour of a video display terminal, just take little ointment on your finger and massage your whole lid only from the outside. This does not have to go inside. Why the eye ointment? Because we need a Vaseline base. It could have been very easy, okay, take white petroleum jelly, but then that's not sterile. And we need to have something very sterile when we are doing this kind of a prevention. Second, we need to use artificial tears. When you are in front of a camera, in front of a display terminal, any area, one eye drop every one hour that you are sitting on your machine. Couple it with a vitamin tablet because there is always some vitamin deficiency which creates all these problems. How do we treat this dryness? We have something called as a silicon lacrimal plug. We have four canals in our eye. There's a tiny little hole. This canal takes the moisture of the eye into the nose. The silicon lacrimal plug is made in USA and patented only for this canal. So it's not an operation, but it goes and blocks one canal. So whatever moisture is now getting created in the eye will remain in the eye for some more time. In this way, we have effectively treated the dryness in a wider perspective. The eye ointment, the drops will all aid it. But what do we lack here? We lack here the mucus. What is mucus? Just like how you have saliva in the mouth, we need this mucus in the eye. If I just take a bottle of water and cannot eat food if I don't have saliva. Similar pattern is with the eye. We can have all the water but if that little oily layer or the mucus layer are not there in the eye, it will lead to dryness. The glands that are there in the lash line need are bringing up oil into the eye. If there is no moisture, if there is no water, this oil is not getting mixed and bringing it into the eye. If it's not getting mixed, now one bacteria just has to come, clog that up and you have the formation of a sty. So how do we remove the sty or how do we prevent the sty? We need to get moisture into the eye. We need to massage the lash line, which is what I explained with the eye ointment. And we need to keep moisture in the eye by putting the artificial tears. All these points will prevent further recurrence of sty. However, once a person has already more than four or five styes in their eye and it's coming up much more frequently, two weeks, six months down the road, another sty has developed. Then we need to treat it for which I explained to you the gene therapy where we will now increase the moisture in the eye by the patient's own stem cells, the patient's own fetal healthy DNA. Where did we get that from? We got it from one drop of the blood of the patient. This will bring back the patient's own stem cells in those millions of cells that
that have come out in that one drop and will bring back the patient's own fetal healthy DNA.